All right, so today uh, I'm going to go over problem 11 from homework 4. Uh, this is the second problem for 11, number 11. And for this problem, we are given a transfer function and we are to find the state space for the problem. Um, so for this particular problem, um, the way I think it's easier to do it, it's to divide the problem into two parts. So you separate the denominator from the numerator. And um, I just write it like this. Um, you can write it however you like. Um, and what to do once you separate this is to make like a little, little table on the side. Um, I use A0 and B. Um, you can use whatever you like. Um, but the, the purpose of doing this is so that you have uh, a nice a nice steady table which you can use to make your state space and you don't make mistakes. Um, so I'm going to go with the numerator first which for which I use B um, and I start with B0 which is going to be my constant in numerator which is 6 then B1 uh, that is 7 and you can look at the power of S which is 1 and the coefficient is 7 so we write 7 for B1 um, and so forth. So B2 is going to be 12 because it's S square. B3 is going to be 2 because it's S cube. B4 is equal to 1 because um, of because of S4. Um, same thing for the denominator uh, for which I use A. Um, A0 is going to be 0 because uh, if you look at the denominator, we don't have a constant. So it's going to be a 0. And then A1 is going to be 0 because you don't see... Um, any coefficient with S1, so we write that as 0. And of course, A2 is going to be 8 because it's S square and so forth, that A3 is 13, A4 is 9, and A5 is 1. So once you have this table, um, just follow the uh, formula. Uh, you can look in the book, it's there. Uh, also, you can check your class notes, it's there as well. So uh, it's D, D, T, X um, equal A, X plus B, U, Y equals C, X. Uh, there is a different notation that you can see in the book and even online and some other people use like a little different notation, uh, but it, it means the same thing. So um, the way I prefer to write it, I, I usually write it with uh, labeling everything. So um, it's the it's a fifth order problem. So you're going to have uh, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, and we know this is going to be... Um, uh, 5 by 5 uh, matrix for A, um, and this is your A right here, uh, this matrix right here. Um, so you start with putting your values that you have um, in your A, which is going to go right here. So now this is just a shortcut method. You can do it the long way, but it's, it's a lot easier if you just follow the instructions. If you follow the if you follow the instructions, um, like I'm about to tell you, um, so you start from the very left hand side, and you start with your a zero. So uh, let me show you. So this is going to be your a zero. This is going to be your a one. A two. A3 and A4. So if you follow this uh, pattern, you should be you should get the right answer. Now um, there is of course a lot of detail if you want to uh, do it the other method, which is SI minus A inverse, um, but it's, it's a lot easier to do this problem uh, using this shortcut method. So on the very bottom row, uh, you just write from your A0 um, all the way to, um, for this problem, it's going to be up to A4. Um, and for your rest of the rows and columns, you basically make it look like uh, identity. Uh, so it's going to have like these ones diagonally over here. And um, as I was saying earlier, some people use the notation X 
and I prefer to use x1, x2, x3. So uh, whatever is, makes you happy, uh, go with that. Um, so it's going to be that plus um, your B matrix is going to be right here. And it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1 um, and U, which is going to be here. Um, and for your Y, which is C, X. Down. Okay, so for your Y, uh, you're going to copy uh, the, uh, the, uh, the values we made for B, as you can see uh, right here. Let me go back. All right, so B0, you can see it's 6. So start again from the left-hand side, and you're going to have 6, 7, 12, 2, 1. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, for your A matrix, uh, you would have to change your signs. So for the very bottom row, um, if it's a positive value, it will become negative, and if it's a negative, it, become, it will become positive. Um, and if you, the reason why that happens is again because um, if you do the problem using um, the formula, which is SI minus A, uh, you would see that why the values change when you um, when you solve the problem like this. Um, and if you do it this way, uh, you should be able to get the correct answer uh, without making mistakes so thank you for watching